going on? This is Eric. Uh, where do I think we'll be in a hundred years? I think most of us won't be here. I, I would I would give uh, the world 25 years to get rid of at least half the human population. I'm thinking a quarter of the population within 25 years. Um, <clears throat> due to Monsanto's and the mad scientists that are uh, running this world, uh, we are pretty much doomed as a human race. Only the elitists that are controlling this and actually advocating this type of science uh, will be here. They built uh, these things called dumbs. They're underground bases and uh, they're all going to go underneath and uh, hide out while we have to fucking suffer. Not only are they breeding the chaos that you see around the world right now, they're also killing all the fish, all the animals. Uh, there's a thing called uh, the HARP project, which is a Nikola Tesla low frequency radio wave radiation device that pops holes in the ionosphere and uh, initially uh, it was built to give people that didn't have uh, rain, rain. Nikola Tesla wanted to save the world and help the entire world. Now uh, that has been manipulated and the science has been advanced in a warfare type manner. So uh, initially they used it for money so they were doing deeper x-rays of the earth which allowed them to find more oil, natural gases. Uh, they also found that they, we've either been hit by uh, meteorites or have already had a nuclear war. So uh, these gentlemen uh, have bioengineered all the fish. They're, uh, they're doing all sorts of foods. They're cloning the meat. Everything they're possibly doing to you, especially radiating your vegetables, all these things are to give you, uh, you know, Codus uh, alimentaris, I mean, all these things you need to look up to know that uh, you're in a game for your life. Um, <clears throat> I think we're very close to World War III. I think uh, if anybody wants to read the Iron Mountain Report 1, which is from John F. Kennedy's era and his, uh, when he was president, talked about building the underground uh, dumbs in NORAD and uh, preparing for martial law. So they've been preparing for martial law for quite a long time. Why? Are, are they preparing for martial law because... Uh, uh, the paperclip project and the Nazis that came over here uh, that went right into the CIA they, after the paperclip, all the scientists came in then they brought their 3200 uh, spies and a general right into the CIA because the Nazis were already here okay if you look up the New York uh, Garden, Square Garden uh, American Nazis uh, there's several videos that will show you that the American Nazi party is uh, well established in the United States of America um, <clears throat> which can also go back to the uh, origin of the KKK, which K is 11, so 3Ks is 33, 33 degrees. Um, I don't see much coming. I see uh, Monsanto's fertilizer. Uh, Africa's got a huge problem with red algae. I see our fish uh, being killed by sonar. Uh, the whales that used to be able to talk across the whole world that you know literally can communicate like like the Africans did with drums. These these beautiful mammals could talk to you know across the whole world. <clears throat> I see death is what I see. I see total annihilation of the population except for those that are causing it. Uh, uh, when they talk about these alien reptile type people, I think they're misguided. I think it is the reptilian mindset of certain individuals that is causing all of this. Their superior nature and their uh, cavalier attitude uh, at attacking the human race is, uh, for anybody who is awake and understands the whole process around them, is uh, bewildering at least. Um, you know, we are bonded servants. So, uh, 1933 we claimed bankruptcy, War Powers of War Act uh, ensued somewhere around there a little bit later, maybe 15, 20 years after that. Uh, we've been in martial law since then, which allowed them to uh, attack the uh, Bill of Rights. Uh, your Constitution is gone. Um, I've seen the pre-impeachment trial. Uh, you can look at it on CNN because their archives are open. If you are a real, true American, you've had the ability from the, from the get-go to see all that's happening. Uh, I will tell you right now, they still, if you are in the know, uh, there are still cheap prices on all different kinds of beans and canned vegetables. I would highly recommend that you get those. 
Uh, there is a war that is about to start. It is going to start financially with the collapse of the whole uh, uh, fiscal, I don't know if I'm using the right word with that, but the whole uh, banking system, the world banking system will collapse the world. It is contrived. It's not economics, economics. It is about controlling the world. Now, anybody that does their history homework should understand that there are many, many brotherhoods and those brotherhoods go back to one. So where do I think we're going to be in a hundred years? Uh, most of us aren't going to be here. Uh, I've been here from the start just trying to tell the truth. Um, I've, I've withstood a lot of ridicule. <clears throat> you know, I see a lot of children and a lot of happy faces, but I know they're not going to be happy soon. So it's a burden that I have to bear. <clears throat> Anybody that understands war at all, you know, while we sit here in America and we watch our TV and we play our basketball and we do all these frivolous things, uh, there are people dying around the world and it's contrived. It's, it's controlled. And uh, for any, you know, idiot that doesn't think it is, you need to go do your homework. Um, I actually tried to make this video about 15, 20 times last night. I couldn't speak well. I wasn't in a good mood. I'm still not. Um, <clears throat> you know, I'm in Los Angeles, and the people are becoming like robots. They're they're so into these electronics, and they're so into all this crap that they can't even walk 10, 15, 20 feet. They can't go down a hallway without stopping four or five times. They're they're in these little cubes. So when people say, you know, think out of the box, you've got to get away from all this shit and read. They're entrapping you at every level. People here, they're just stopping in the middle of the road, literally, in the middle of a street, and they just start texting. Like there's no flow of traffic or there's nobody around them. And when you confront them on it, they, they look at you bewildered. It is, it is the sheeple, man. This place is ridiculous. And... And if I do find comfort uh, within people that are atheists, is that at least they are looking at the drones. Uh, at some point, I, I still think that you guys are still drones because the people that are controlling this are religious uh, without dogma. So uh, they feel that whatever they do on this planet is, is in an aspect of God. Be it if they kill a whole country. I mean, if anybody reads the Old Testament, you understand that God told them to go take the land. You know, if I went and go, if I was to go right now and take some land, and God said that I needed to go do that, and I killed everybody on it, I'd be in prison. But when you put it in the context of religion and that you're the people, it changes everything. Zion is spelled S-C-I-O-N and not Z-I-O-N. Uh, these these fascist nationalist. Uh, They've, they've emphasized the weak. It makes them feel better when they get rid of all of us. It's going to make them feel better. Uh, my bottom line is that if we all had real education and we weren't trying to separate the families and we made people responsible for their children, we'd have a different world. If we were responsible for our family and our children and for the future of this world, then we wouldn't have these, these people that are controlling us. But because we sleep, because we don't pay attention, and we're, we're willing to take any bone that they give us, pardon the pun, but uh, it is what it is, man. And I, I just, you know, it was a deep ashtray, I believe is your name. I'm, you know, I'm in a really bad funk. But uh, I appreciate you asking me to make this video. Uh, I know a lot more than I'm allowed to talk about because of where I work. So... Um, I can tell you that they are <clears throat> developing things where they will scan your brain and decide if you're a criminal or not. Um, when people laugh at me about the New World Order, uh, Florida makes the digital angel. I knew this. That's the chip that they're going to put in us. And uh, I knew this at least six years ago. Uh, they've, they've already tried it out on France. They're putting it in your pets. And they've already started commercials where they're talking about taking care of your children so they don't get lost. There is a definite, definite um, 
you know, Kissinger. So I got to look up Kissinger and everything he's been doing. He's been very, very uh, hard at work with the Trilateral Commission, NATO, the UN. They, they've all had many, many, many names. And for anybody that wants to look this stuff, you know, look it up. Do. And my site, again, is completely neutral. I'm still not telling you what I personally think. I'm just putting out information. Uh, the, the mind police are coming. I'm just here to do the best I can till I can't do it anymore, till they don't allow me to do it. So, um, where will we be in a hundred years? The opposite side is we all come together as a human race and we put these people out, out of the sunlight and we show the inner secrets. John F. Kennedy, his speech on the secret societies. I'm not a fucking idiot, okay? Your president, Eisenhower, telling you about the military complex. Do you know who runs the military complex? Do you realize that there's your state your state taxes run the federal government and that your federal taxes, 75% uh, go to black ops. I mean, these are things that we all need to think about. Okay, cloning, uh, you know, animals and eating them, it's not a good thing to do. Uh, you know, bioengineering uh, apples. Got cut off there. So, uh, there used to be like 800 strains of apples. They're now 200 and, you know, 30, something like that. Uh, when they bioengineer these these species of or not species, I'm probably using the wrong word, but when they bioengineer you know engineer this stuff, uh, if it's corn, if it's apples, if it's rice, that shit blows right over into the organics and it takes over. Okay, it takes over and it actually kills the natural things that that you've you know God has given you. Um. Uh, you know, documentaries from the people that started uh, bioengineering fish. These fish that they started bioengineering were super, super aggressive. So they took these trout and these bass, and they would put them into lakes. And they, it, within a year or two, boom, there's no more natural fish. These these bioengineered fish would take over the whole thing. Uh, we're playing God. We're splicing stem cells, okay, with dogs, with cats, with rats with all sorts of fucking shit. We're, we're, we're taking human enzymes and injecting them into rats' heads. It's, it's really far-fetched for me to uh, listen to a lot of atheists and, and, and just how, in, how fucking insane your loyalty is to science. There, there should be certain uh, limits, rules. Uh, you know, Eugenics was about building the perfect big blue-eyed 6'10", the, the, the guy from the Miss. Uh, uh, well, they're not actually not Miss, they're based on, you know, Odin or Woden. These were actual men. Uh, but they wanted to bring those guys back. They wanted to find those genes and, and for this great, you know, end to the world. Not end of the world, but end of this age war that's coming up. Um, <clears throat> Do I know if Mayan prophecies are real or the pole shift? You know, there's evidence for pole shifting, but um, my main concern is that they, somewhere within the eugenics, all of a sudden they said, fuck that, and they went to building exoskeletons on humans. So they're now trying to splice us with like rhinos and different things. And, and this is a fact. This is not bullshit. This ain't theory. This is what they're doing. You know, I've done a thing on, the, you know, scientific fraud. I used atheists. I'm not trying to disrespect people that are atheists. I mean, I, I understand that God is unknowable and, and unnameable, but it is what it is. Uh, <clears throat> little boy in Texas goes uh, for, you know, has a chemistry set. I guess the guy's got a good head on his shoulders. He goes to one of the Texas, you know, uh, water, you know, areas where they retain the water so people can drink and different things. This little kid found drugs and chemicals in in the water, the drinking water. Okay, not a fucking scientist, not your FCC or not FCC, FDA, not you know, which is a private company. None of the people that are supposed to be watching you. Okay, melathion. They sprayed it on us, not for the flies, but to fucking put melathion on us. Uh, anybody that tries to tell me that people aren't testing on us. Is is crazy? They they fucking they put uh, Agent Orange to see what it would do to people. They put fucking uh, uh, acid into uh, you know army uh, people to see what it would do. They they put um, 
funk, you, I mean, you name it. They, they have done so much testing that they've been caught. Uh, there's a video out, which is harder to find because Clinton does his homework, and I, he's a badass man, so I ain't messing with them. But, uh, you know, he apologized for the MK Ultra. So you got the Paperclip Project. It's a fact. You've got Project Majestic, which is could be questionable. You've got the Montauk Project. You've got the Philadelphia Experiment. Nikola Tesla was one hell of a scientist, and they've done a lot of work around him. I highly recommend you look at it. But, but the bottom line in all of this is they're not friendly, okay, for the masses, for the people, for the, for, I don't want to use that word. <clears throat> There's a lot of literature out there that if you actually do your homework, I don't want to, I don't want to get into races and religions because we're talking about the 10 percenters, okay? The 10 percenters are now like the, the 8 percenters, okay? But besides the 10 percenters, they're all fighting for something that they believe in. The top 10 percent are the ones that actually have the real knowledge, that may have written the books, and that are fucking with people. It's absolute. So if you go get Helen Bovansky and read The Secret Doctrine, the oldest possible copy you can find, you will find that all religions have the same numbers. You know, it's not contrite. This is contrived. So, um... My hope is in a hundred years that, that my children will have children and that they'll be responsible, they'll be part of a, a, a civil union with their community and that people will get along regardless of where they stand. That there is a, a higher level of meaning to this whole world and that's humanity. And, and if, there's nothing, if there's nothing else in this world, that's all there should be. But the problem is we have deviant behavior, we have psychopaths, we have, and, and that's bred. In some cases they, they believe that that's an honorable quality. So when you have psychopaths running your military force and, and making your food and helping you with your air and deciding when it rains and when they cause earthquakes, uh, it is a fact, fact, that they have earthquake machines. It is a fact, okay? I can't go into details, but it, it, you know anybody that does their research should know that the things that they use for deep X-rays, which is the Heart Project, by the way, is the same frequencies as your cell phones and all the cell phone towers. You know, if you really stop fucking around with all the bullshit that's around you, you drop it, and you look at the craziest shit you ever imagined, you'll find one thread of truth. And if you keep looking at all those small, tiny little threads, they connect. Okay? There's a lot of bullshit going on. It's time for you to wake up. We don't need, I'm not worried about a hundred years. I'm worried about the next four years. If we can get through the next four years and come back together as a human race without religion, okay, it's a fallacy that the Middle East has, has been in war with Israelis. Okay, the, the, the Jews, the real Jews, the real Hebrews, the real Hebrews are the Palestinians and the Jews. They just have a different faith, but they never fought. It is the Zionist movement that has caused the riff. CIA, IMF, Vatican, it, it all connects, man. And if you don't read and you just talk out of your ass and you try to be a badass dude or make me look stupid or make that person look stupid, okay, it's about doing your homework. And if you do your homework, most of you won't be making videos anymore. You'll probably get off of fucking YouTube because you'll be scared shitless and you'll be taking care of your business. For those of us that have done the study and have come to YouTube because we're worried about you and everybody else, I want the next hundred years, man. I want a community. I want a community that is a world community. You know, uh, there are good sides to the UN if it stays a, a democratic republic. If we can have a UN that is a democratic republic without the elite, we can have a real human race. One race with whatever culture, whatever religions, whatever creeds. If, if there is absolutely no violence and we watch how many people are birthed, if we slow down the birth rate and we take care of business, if we all get together, we can get the fuck off this planet and start to take other planets in love. Not in, not in you know, this colonization of, of war, but in, in the flourishing of some gift that we've been given, and that's life. 
so I've been rambling and, and I hope you're well everybody I, I love you guys <clears throat> I'm not really feeling like making movies right now uh, it's just getting too close man we, we've got this this crazy super fungus that's in uh, the, the Midwest okay and, and I always go into parallels and allegorical uh, symbolism it's called the heartland of America and it's been destroyed and it's a lot of farmland Okay, Louisiana, all the f seafood that shot up through there to give all the protein to America has been attacked. Okay, New York's done. I think California's next. Okay, you need to wake up to what's going on around you. Much love and I'll talk to you later. And again, thank you for this opportunity.